Yeah, I know how to do that. I do. Yeah, I know how to do that. Yeah, I know I should definitely improve my health. I know that. Yep. I know that I should sign up more clients and coaches. I know that. I know. Mm -hmm. And I, I definitely know I should get out in the world and be more visible with, with what I do. I know that. But it's getting close to the weekend, you know. Yeah, they probably don't have time. I'll call them back on Monday. Yeah, ooh, that chocolate cake. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> ah, today, today turned into a cheat day. Like the other six days out of the week. <laughs> Can you recognize the gap that exists within you between what you intellectually know you should do and what you actually do? For most people, that gap is wider than the Grand Canyon. Do you recognize the gap? Be honest. Let me see a show of hands. Beautiful. For us to effectively overcome this next illusion, the illusion of knowledge, we got to really get this concept. And as we do, it will help change our mind, our subconscious conditioning, really, because that is what we're talking about. And it will help propel us into growth in all areas of our lives. We have been programmed to think that knowledge equals success. We have an entire educational system built around gathering more information. Just another seminar, just another class, just another program. That's the way we've been programmed, gathering in information for years. American companies spend billions every year getting people to remember more things. That's really what training is. We have never been taught how to take information from the conscious side of our mind, relay it to the subconscious so that it becomes part of our behavior and results. That we're never taught. It wasn't until I heard my mentor, Bob Proctor, tell me that I was not getting the results in life that I wanted because I was not programmed to produce those results. And if I wanted the results, I had to change my programming. Ding! It was the biggest light bulb that ever went off in my mind. I mean, it was like Edison crawling in there himself, you know, and <laughs> flicking on the switch for me. I, the illusionist, was living with the illusion of knowledge. I knew how to do it better, but I didn't execute on it. Are you ready to explore that illusion right now? Oh, that's so good. Over here, we have what we know. Everything. This is an expression of our intellect. We know a whole lot. Over here is what we do with that knowledge and what we should do with that knowledge. So what's a big one? What is one thing we know we should do? Proof health, that would be an obvious one, wouldn't it? Yeah, all right, we'll go with that. Improve health. We know we should do that, and what do we do? What do we do? We eat cake! <laughs> yes, we do! Well, what should we do? Get healthy. Get healthy, I like that. We should definitely get healthy and make wise choices. What's another one? We know we should start more clients and coaches, right? We know we should. Yeah. We'll grab that. Start. Clients and C, coaches. What do we do? What do we do? Take a nap. <laughs> Thank you for the honesty. <laughs> what should we do? What should we do? Have the conversation. Have convo. Yeah. Have convo. <laughs> Didn't fit conversation. I love the answer though. Let's pick a la one last one. We know that we should use social media. We know we should. Yes? We'll grab that. Use social media. And I heard you had a brilliant formula. 
333. Three, three. Yeah. Three posts a day. Three new friend requests a day. Three new direct messages. I love that. What do we do though? We scroll! Oh no! Oh! We scroll. Oh. Oh no. Okay. No. What should we do? Do the work. Yeah. Do the work. Beautiful. All right. Let's say that that became your new autopilot programming. Let's say that choosing food that always served your health became your just normal way of going about in the world. No resistance anymore. Don't have to think about it. Do you think your results would change in that area? Yes. Let's say that you have the conversation as often as you possibly can. Every time you come in contact with a new person, it's automatic for you now to start probing where they are, where they want to be with their health. If you did that, would that have an effect on your results? Absolutely it would. And we stop scrolling and we start doing the work every day. It's just normal for us to constantly schedule posts, engage with our audience. Would that have an effect on our results? Absolutely. So how do we bring those pieces of the puzzle together? How do we take what we know and turn it into what we do? Now that is what we're going to be talking about, and that is the secret sauce. It has to do with the magic of repetition. And there's a science to it. I'm going to share that with you in a moment. It's absolutely beautiful. So that what we do turns into so that what we know, rather, turns into what we do. That's when we've moved into growth in all areas of our lives. Are you ready to create real magic? What we know has effectively turned into what we do, and we have conquered the illusion of knowledge. And yet they were separate. <laughs> Anyone wants a souvenir? All right. Yeah, come get it. It's a little too big for me to put in the pocket and hand it over to you later. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. John Roskin once said that education does not mean teaching people what they do not know. It means teaching them to behave as they do not behave. <laughs> 